This is Dr. Webb here. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my transition from uh, being a nurse to becoming a surgeon. A lot of people don't know that, that I was actually a nurse before. Um, in the military, as a combat medic, as a medical technician, EMT, that's the things that I did in the military as an enlisted uh, airman in the Air Force. Um, I was able to just basically take the LVN board, the Licensed Vocational Nurse Board, the California board and uh, get my nursing license that way. I don't think they do that anymore, but um, I just wanted to speak on that transition because there are a lot of people who have second second careers or going into a second career into to medicine. Um, I think it actually helps you stand out. Well, on your application, the there are lots of different applicants, lots of different applications, and you have to have something that distinguishes yourself from everyone else. So. If you were a teacher before, Teacher of America, if you, um, I, I know a guy who was in the NFL uh, before, know someone who was an engineer, one of my classmates was a musician, he was in his 40s when he started medical school, um, other people um, who were, um, like I said, military, you had your own business, whatever it is that you did before, I think that would actually help you stand out. Uh, do I think that the, my me medical experience as a nurse helped me as, as, a, as a physician? I would say yes and no. It didn't really help me per se in medical school that much. I was a little bit more familiar with the terms, with the conditions, but medical school is on a totally different level. It's so in depth that you have to learn so much material that um, they just didn't teach, that, teach us that in the military and also uh, they didn't require that for my LVN board, boards. Um, but what it did do was help me be more compassionate and, and, and kind of learn medicine from the other side. Because when I was going through the years, I noticed a lot of physicians, they just basically walked over nurses, they didn't treat them well, um, they basically thought they were basically God and no one else was better than them. So um, to see both sides, it actually helps me appreciate the nurses and, what, and kind of what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, when I see the nurse kind of struggling, moving a patient, or, um, or you know, having a little bit of trouble, I sympathize and um, I actually try to help them as much as I can because I understand I was there before. I worked in the ICU, surgical ICU, as a LVN for about three, uh, three years before medical school. And that's what I did when I got out the military. So if you are uh, an EMT, if you are LVN, RN, if you are a PA, we have a in, intern now who was a, a prior PA, um, nurse practitioner, whatever it is in the medical field, I think it, it is beneficial. Um, it will kind of uh, help you stand out from all the other applicants out there. And then I think it will make you that much better of a doctor. I think I'm a much better doctor today because I was on the other side. I was a nurse before, now I'm a physician. So I think I'm that much better of a doctor. So. If you guys have any more questions, email me at overcometheoddsbook at gmail.com or hit me up on my website, antoniowebmd.com. See you next time.